Hello, in this part I want you to show the basic steps with Python and Scala if you use the IDE Eclipse. The first thing is I click on Workbench right click to the Project Explorer and say New Other if I want to develop something with Python, I type Py and say Python project or PyDev project. Next. Here you can give the project a name, for example, um, Python project hello world. You have to say which grammar version you want to use for Python, we choose the newest one, it's 3.0. We try to avoid some characters, Python project. So we use 3.0 here, the newest version, and we try to use to config the interpreter and we choose quick auto config. Here we see the default interpreter and we use the default interpreter. The second thing is to create the source folder and add it to Python path. Then we say next and finish. Here we can say yes. So now we have created here a project for Python and we can click with right mouse click here on the source folder, say new and create a PyDev module. Um, we give the module a name, we call it PyDev module hello world and click finish. Um, we use an empty template and you have to know that this is uncomment and you have to write in an area which is not uncommented. Uh, we say print and say hello world. Uh, then we debug it. Debug means to start the program, to run the program and to test it if there are some errors. Therefore we click on this icon here, say run it with Python run, say OK and the program runs here and here you have the output of the program. Um, if we make a mistake here, for example, and use something different and try it again, it will get an error. If you correct it, it should work. If it does not work, you have to, to uh, make Steuerung S or in English Control S to save the file and then to debug or to run it. Here you created um, a text file which you will also find in the specific folder. If you get to the workspace you see Pi Project Hello World and source and here is the file. You also can edit it with a normal editor like this one and you will see that the code is nothing different than a text file. Thanks.